Hello students, in this video we'll see how to find the in center of a triangle using vectors. If we're given a triangle, ABC, A, B, C, and I look at the angle bisectors, alpha over 2 and beta over 2, and the corresponding feet of those angle bisectors, E and D, then we know from classical geometry that the angle bisectors intersect at the in center of the circle, right? I'd like to find a vector formulation of the in center in terms of the vectors that represent the sides of the triangle. So we know that if I go from A to I, that has to be a multiple of going from I to D. And I know that if I go from B to I, that is another multiple sigma of going from I to E. And we have a formula for the point of intersection that's the foot of the angle bisector from a previous video. So I can write this in the following way. I can write this as I is equal to I minus A is equal to lambda. And we know what D is. D is going to be B, side length B times the vector B, plus the side length C times the vector C over B plus C minus I vector i. And I also know from this equation that i minus b is equal to sigma. And then e is going to be a times vector a plus c times vector c over a plus c minus i. And so from these two relationships over here, we get the two different formulations of what i is going to be equal to. So this first equation here says that 1 plus lambda times i is going to be lambda times b, b plus c, c over b plus c, and then plus a. And then I have 1 plus sigma times i is equal to sigma a, a plus c, c over a plus c, and then plus b. And so I get two different representations of i from these formulas. The first representation we get is this. We get that i is equal to, from the first equation, is going to be a 1 over 1 plus lambda times a plus lambda over 1 plus lambda times b over b plus c in the direction of b plus lambda over 1 plus lambda, lambda over 1 plus lambda, and then c over b plus c in the direction of c. This is one representation of i. And we have another representation of i. i is also represented by this vector over here. i is going to be what? Is going to be sigma over 1 plus sigma times a over a plus c a plus uh, 1 over 1 plus sigma b plus sigma over 1 plus sigma, sigma over 1 plus sigma, and then c over a plus c over a plus c in the direction of c. So I have two representations of the in center as a vector. Now I can equate coefficients. The first thing we can conclude from this is we can conclude from this that 1 over 1 plus lambda is equal to sigma over 1 plus sigma a over a plus c. So from this, I can conclude that, or I can just take the reciprocal of those relationships too and conclude from this that 1 plus lambda is the reciprocal of this. So that's going to be a sigma plus 1 over sigma times a plus c over a. So that's one equation we get. We can also compute, equate the coefficients of c. We also get that lambda over 1 plus lambda c over b plus c is equal to sigma over 1 plus sigma times c over a plus c. That's good. So now what we get from this actually is we can get a formula for lambda because we know by taking the reciprocal of this that 1 plus lambda over lambda c over b plus c. I take the reciprocal, I'm take the reciprocal of both sides. So take the reciprocal of that as well. Let's take the reciprocal of this. So the reciprocal of this is this, and the reciprocal of this is b plus c over c is equal to sigma plus 1 over sigma times a plus 
C over C. Those C's are going to cancel on both sides of the equation. And therefore, we get that sigma plus 1 over sigma is going to be equal to lambda plus 1 over lambda, and then B plus C over A plus C. So that's my formula for sigma plus 1 over sigma. I can fill that into this equation over here. Let's do that. So if we do so, what we get? We'll get 1 plus lambda, 1 plus lambda, is equal to sigma plus 1 over sigma, which is lambda plus 1 over lambda, times b plus c over a plus c, times what? Times, times, um, that's my sigma plus 1 over sigma, and I have an a plus c over a. The a plus c's will cancel, the lambda plus 1's will cancel, and I'll be able to conclude from this that 1 over lambda is equal to 1 over lambda times b plus c over a is, is equal to 1, so lambda is equal to b plus c over a. So if I do 1 plus lambda, so 1 plus lambda, therefore, is going to be what? 1 plus lambda is going to be a plus b plus c over a. So we're in great position now because let's do one final step. So the final step is to say, what is um, lambda over 1 plus lambda? Lambda over 1 plus lambda is going to be this over this. So that's going to be b plus c, b plus c over a plus b plus c. Now we can conclude our calculation. So now we write our, down our formulation for i. So what is our vector formulation for i? It's going to be 1 over 1 plus lambda a. Well, 1 over 1 plus lambda is going to be a times a over a plus b plus c. Beautiful. And then we're going to have lambda over 1 plus lambda, which is this expression over here, times b over b plus c. Well, now the b plus c's will cancel, and I'll just have plus b b over a plus b plus c. And then finally, I'm going to have 1 over 1 plus lambda over 1 plus lambda times c over b plus c. Again, the b plus c's cancel out, and you're just going to have a c c over a plus b plus c. So we can concisely write that the in center is a a plus b b plus c c over a plus b plus c. In other words, i is a linear combination of a, b, and c with weights that correspond to the side lengths. Thank you very much.